Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and I have been very busy all weekend. I have been moving tanks around, trying to get as many water tanks as I can down in my basement where it's a cement floor. So I got a lot of movement going on in the fish room. Let me show you what I'm doing. So the basement had 340 breeders against the wall along with a 16 inch wide screen it's called that I won at a, um, a local fish store. I want to save that spot for a monster tank. Uh, 220 is a minimum, but I don't have it yet, but build it and they will come. So what I'm doing is I'm moving those 340 breeders and three other ones over against the wall and making a wall of 40 breeders. Let's go check it out. So here is my basement wall that I've had. I tore down all those fish tanks that were over here. So this is how the wall looked before I started. I had to break down all these tanks and move them to start setting up the new shelving. And started moving some here, but unfortunately, I just had to pile them up back here so it's a big mess. With all my supplies, all my aquascaping supplies, filters and things going. As I was tearing down tanks, I just moved everything back here almost to like a, a holding space. Now I'm going to leave a link to um, Aquarium Co-op's how-to video because he puts together this Etzel Heavy Duty 36 by 18 rack, which houses a 40 breeder perfectly and it's very sturdy very stable it just doesn't allow for a lot of movement swapping up tanks it's going to be 640 breeders and as i get more organized i'm going to do two more 40 breeders so the 840 breeders are against that wall and on the bottom i'm trying to put down fish that look good from the top so the two tanks of axolotls and the um, fancy goldfish i got some randos and ryukin I'm missing a 40 breeder. I have to wait for the next dollar per gallon sale. And even though the 40 breeders aren't on sale for the dollar per gallon, they're a half off. So I think they're about 49 or 50 some dollars. So it's close enough for me. So down here, I have my goldfish. Here's my daughter's axolotls. They are not Lucy and Ethel because, so there are two males we have to rename. This is Oscar. I know I'm so original. You wanna come out here? Hello. This is my Oscar. He is not a grouch. He thinks I'm feeding him though. I'm gonna have to feed him otherwise he's gonna mope. He's gonna lie on the bottom of the tank and pout. And these are my axolotls. Laguna de Sochi and Milko. Cause that's the lake they come from. So that's what I named my axolotls. And up here is a front opening, same footprint as a 40 breeder. And this is going to have a surprise. I'm still working on this idea, but I definitely want this down here. And I made sure to leave huge amounts of space here because I'm not one for crawling on the ground. I'm not one for reaching in and getting and just barely. I'm okay with this much space. This is going to be amazing. Wait and see. My Oscar, where'd he go? Oh, because I went like this and she thought I was feeding her and I didn't feed her. Now she's pissed off. So now over here, I have moved my high fin red sword tails and my high fin red platies. They're here along with two amazing plecos. Maybe you can help me identify it. She is a beauty. This is the first time I have seen her in a year and a half. And it wasn't until I moved the tank over here that I even was like, oh, I remember you. So I just call her Starlight Pleco, but if you know what kind of Pleco she is, I would love to hear from you. And then I have another one that might be in the cave. I have my Electric Blue Jack Dempsey and a Jewel in this 20 long. They're both very much babies, although the tank looks empty. And then here, I just did a video on these. There's the Frontosa and the Yellow Convicts. This is just a hospital tank, nobody's in it. And this was a holding tank for Louie, my Diamondback Terrapin, who's upstairs in a big tank now. 
So that is what I have been up to. I have been moving tanks downstairs. I tend to have a small problem of overflowing my tanks and not necessarily overflowing. I te seem to have a problem flooding. So sometimes it's overflowing a tank. Twice it's been, I took the nozzle off the sink and kept the nozzle in the sink, but somehow or another it came out of the sink and the siphon happened and I didn't realize it until it was raining down here that upstairs was flooded again. I also actually just bought a shop vac, a wet, dry shop vac. So I'm stoked about that. And that's not so that I can keep flooding. It's until I can figure this out. But as I'm trying to get as many of my water tanks down here on the cement floor. So this is what I've been up to. Now I have a blank wall over here, but I got this whole wall. It is six foot, but with that desk there, it's four foot by three foot. So I can actually make it five foot by three foot. So I am ready for a monster tank. I am not financially ready for a monster tank, nor are my fish ready for that monster tank, but this is where it's gonna go. So in the meantime, I'm gonna put all my small tanks here. That's what I'm gonna put against this wall until my big, my big tank comes. Thanks guys for checking out my basement build.